Hello, you're about to see some behind the scenes footage of uh, an installation of a, a custom uh, Dotto door project. I'm just going to point out some things as the video rolls along. Here you see a, a, a 4x6 header with a chalk line pulled down it and some one uh, and a quarter inch holes drilled. The door that we're hanging here is a six foot wide by almost eight foot tall door. Here you see some of the uh, threaded rod that will suspend the track. Here's another door opening to a door that's at a right angle to the larger six foot door. Um, there's the entrance to the smaller door, which is at a right angle to the larger door. Here's the more of the full opening for the, uh, the larger door. And at the right angle is the smaller door that goes into a bathroom in the and both of these doors are in a theater room. Um, you can see there the, uh, the header a little more clearly. There's the track that is uh, almost set up to, to be hung. There you see the track that's now um, loosely put in place onto the header. The track will get uh, actually lifted up into position after the glass is hung on the track and, and mounted properly. So there you see both tracks um, in place. Here's inside of the pocket for the large door. That header I think extends uh, almost 14 feet if I'm not mistaken or maybe 13 feet. The, tr the door is six foot wide and the, it goes into the pocket six foot and there's an extra foot on the end of it where the motor mounts. There's the track for the bathroom. There's a little close-up of the, the track just loosely hung. There you see a, a two by six footer that's notched out for the smaller door to go through. And uh, this is the large door that's already hung now in place. And you see uh, we just mounted a little two by four stop um, that sort of limits where the door can go um, on the back side. Here you see a little bit of um, trim work that's, uh, that's some pre-primed MDF that will get um, drywall, will meet up against that and, and go around the edge. And there will be some corner bead on the drywall that'll just finish that out. Here's uh, beginning stages of some more MDF trim up against that glass. Here you see the uh, door guides inside of uh, two studs that are adjusted right up against the glass. Um, hold the glass from moving. There's uh, adjusting the, um, the limit switch that sets how far the door is going to go inside of the pocket. So that switch just gets pressed one time when you power up the system and, it, and then the door knows where it's at from thereafter. That's sort of adjusting the door and getting the trim into position. This is the smaller bathroom door. You see there a, uh, a bearing block that sits up in the top corner. Here is the larger door that we've just put some uh, the same MDF, um, primed MDF there. It comes pre-primed in white and uh, that will have drywall come up to that flush when it's, when it's finished out. There's, uh, we just fabricated uh, several pieces of MDF there. Here you can kind of see how the, uh, the track hanger gets locked down onto the header with the threaded rod. You can see the slot where the bearing block sits. See the bearing block sitting over on that side above the large door. You can also see the wires that are that are run into place for the controllers, uh, the touch panels that are coming soon. So here is testing the uh, the door out with the motor and the controller. This door is 
uh, quite dirty at the moment. It's got a good bit of mud on it from the, the mudders that were just there. And uh, you can see the plastic receiver box is where the uh, touch panels will be mounted after we paint um, the walls. But you can see how nicely the, uh, the MDF and the drywall uh, um, worked out. The drywall was just put the drywall up against the uh, MDF and just mudded over it and sanded it and it's, it's perfectly flush. There's the glass covered in mud still. That's testing the uh, door retracting when it senses pressure. Above the door, we're going to build a, uh, a little enclosure. We call it a track enclosure. that will conceal all the clamps and the belt and the track. And uh, we'll butt right up against the glass. Well, that's about it for now. As soon as they uh, finish painting and we get the touch panels installed in this project, um, we'll show you the rest of it when it's finished. Thanks for watching.